Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show you how to complete the narrator worksheet um, that I gave you in class. You can either complete it by um, pencil, by just going ahead and rewriting it, or there's a 365 document attached to this video um, that, sh that you can just go ahead and type, retype these passages, which might be easier for you. So it says here, there is an example at the top that you can read through, but I'm just going to go ahead and, and complete this one so that you can do the second one on your own. It says retype or rewrite the following passage into the first person point of view. So currently, if we read this, um, let's see what point of view it's written in. Spotting the doe in a clearing, he froze in his tracks and quietly took out his camera. He didn't want to startle the animal before getting at least one shot. Sensing his presence, the doe looked up at him. Don't be frightened, he says in his most soothing voice. I won't hurt you. I just want to take your picture. The doe accommodated him for about five seconds before running off into the woods. So if you noticed all the he and his, okay, then we know that it is currently written in the third person point of view because it's referring to the photographer here. Um, let's go ahead and highlight our pronouns. That'll make it easier for us to retype or rewrite this passage in a different point of view. And this really helps us to realize what differences um, it makes to write in different points of view. So that's why we're, we're completing this activity. And these are just little paragraphs. We're not like rewriting a whole story. So you can see there are a lot of pronouns referring to this photographer. Let's see if we have them all here. He, his, his, he, his, him, he, his, and him. Okay, well, if we missed any, we'll try to get them here as we retype this. But you can see here, we would start spotting the dough in a clearing. I'm gonna be speaking as though I'm the photographer here. I froze in my tracks and quietly took out my camera. So there's the first sentence. Let's keep going. I didn't want to startle the animal. before getting at least one shot. Sensing his presence, the doe looked up at him. Um, so now we're gonna use a little bit of different um, pronouns, sensing my presence, right? Sensing my presence, the doe looked up me. And then here we have um, some dialogue. Don't be frightened. I said in my most soothing voice. And remember the dialogue here is already in first person so we're not changing anything in the dialogue. More dialogue, I won't hurt you. I just want to take your picture. The dough accommodated me for about five seconds before running off into the woods. All right, so here as we rewrote this or retyped it, um, we changed all of these third person pronouns into first person pronouns and it is now written from the point of view of 
um, the actual photographer from the first person point of view. Okay. Um, so this is what you're going to do with the following passage. Um, as you type this, um, you can um, highlight and do the same thing by, by just switching the pronouns and some of the wording to make it sound right. Um, if you notice any typos, you can fix them as you go. I've noticed a few here um, just as I was retyping. So um, go ahead and do this, and this will help prepare us for um, the next activity that we're going to do um, that you're going to actually uh, put a little bit more um, you know, thought into the next activity and it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So this will help in being able to, to, you know, rewrite a larger passage. All right. If you have any questions, just uh, reach out and message me. Have, have fun.